Hey, it's Harry from PB Tech, and today we have a special guest, Lara, from Using Technology Better. Hey, Lara! Hi. Hey! Um, so, you've brought in a toy for us today. A toy? No such thing as toys in the educational world, Harry. No? This is a tool that will help students to learn how to code and interact with the digital world. It is as fun as a toy, but it has a whole lot of learning that comes out of it as well. Serious. We must be Very serious, serious about There's this no tool. fun. Yeah. No fun. This okay. <laughs> Explain to me what I can do with this. So, this is Cody, and this is Rocky, and these are from MakeBlock. So when they're put together, this is Cody Rocky. This part here, you can code it to do whatever you want it to do, really. It's got some pretty amazing tech inside it. So it's got some sensors along here. It's got voice recognition. It's, this is an LED screen, so you can program it to do lots of different things and say things and show cat eyes. And very, very user-friendly. And obviously, kids of all ages would love this. Yeah. It's also kind of a cool tech tool for girls. So we found that a lot of tech tools boys are really engaged with straight away. But this one here is adorable to anybody. Yeah. Like how can I teach it to do things that I want it to do? Oh, there's a few different ways that you can code it. So the mBlock app, uh, you can download onto your iPad, onto your PC too. You can program it really similar to Scratch with your stage, your blocks, and then your programming space over here. And you can use Kodi to interact with what's happening on the platform here. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool to use it like a remote control, but you can also code it to move around the room. It will be aware of obstacles in its way. It will recognize your voice and respond to your voice with the code that you've programmed for it. Nice, so what's the advantage of the two pieces being able to become separate like this? When you take them apart, this becomes a standalone remote control kind of device too. Oh, right. So you can actually program it so that there's a whole game inside, like a little Space Invaders game. So you can take your computer and make it portable as well. Totally. Tell me about all the different sort of sensors and functions. I see there's a lot of different cameras and perhaps some sensors on the top. Yeah, so it's got some infrared sensors on it. The LED screen for patterns and effects and you can change the colours. Sound sensor as well as volume control, so it's got a speaker in there as well. It has a gyroscope, so it'll know if you're moving it around and respond if you've programmed it too. Like make an alarm so when somebody picks up your Kodi, you know about it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. How can you train teachers to inform their students on how to use this so that they can learn? We try to put everything against the pedagogy and the why we're teaching it. So it's not about the Cody Rocky, but the Cody Rocky helps us to get to where we want to go to. So when we look at this in a workshop, we would be looking at the digital technologies curriculum, which is new and being embedded in New Zealand schools in 2020. We talk about how this can enhance what teachers are already doing and make links to the curriculum. So this tool is fantastic for that, but so are many other tools. So it's the right tool for the job. This is engagement and motivation factor big time for the students. And it means that they can bring the digital world into the real world as well. As soon as you start to explore a tool like this, you start to see those connections between the curriculum and how we can embed it into what we're doing in class already. So what makes the Cody Rocky stand out for you? I think, aside from its beauty, I think the, <laughs> the, the way it connects to so many other things, so many other tools. So we talk about the internet of things, things being connected and using using the digital world to, to make our lives easier in a way. So while this looks like a really simple child's toy, <laughs> what we know about Cody Rocky is that with things like the Neuron Kit, it can connect to other sensors to increase what it can do. So you can have this connected to the neuron blocks, reading the moisture in the soil of a plant, and it can give you an alarm and let you know when the soil has dropped to too low a moisture level. You can have it with a different display running on it. It connects to Lego, uh, which is pretty cool. You can start it with little kids, and you can go right up to some more tricky coding so as well. So it's quite diverse in what it can communicate with and what it can actually do. Definitely, yeah. Because it's Bluetooth enabled, it can send messages um, and announcements and things to other devices devices too, so it's connecting all those devices. We should just put our laptops to the side and just everyone just get a Cody Rocky. Totally. Yeah. Do everything for you. Yeah. Mother yeah. Lord, yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>